Yeah, I do have a bit of a recap, though. Yeah. Our worthy friends gathered in a tower of a local library to... So, our worthy friends, you mean the super friends, or what was the other one we came up with? Candle creeps! Candle Candle creeps. creeps. I like the candle peeps. Uh, Oh, I like the candle creeps. (laughs) Okay, so anyway. I think um, 40 definitely uh, counts as a candle creep. So you have the candle creeps. (laughs) The candle creeps. Carry on. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry. I also didn't mean to step on it. You're totally. No, 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 no. no. Um, uh, gather to uh, check out a magical a book a book of magical oddities. Uh, it turned immediately into a ghost once we opened a can of pass. And in trying to investigate the um, spectral nature of the book, people that might have done that kind of curse to it. Other magic happenings, ghostly happenings in the area. We scattered around town to ask some questions. We hit a long rest and we're headed towards Millport. Way. Was it Millport? Yes. Mm-hmm. What I do? Millport it is. Just to name drop the specific things that uh, uh, you know. Uh, you. you know Millport. Mm-hmm. You know the uh, market area known as the Wide. No Ooh, we didn't know that. You learned that uh, uh, from one of the two people you talked to. I can't remember who. I know oh, we're looking right. for a rusty um, red ginger. Yeah, and mm-hmm. he uh, he tells his books by reading parts of it aloud. Yes. Um, and uh, the word market is something Dune. Thank you. Um, you see, there's five of us. We've got the one brain cell. <laughs> when we pass it to each other. <laughs> Yeah. So the uh, the librarians did offer us as a reward for figuring out what's going on the helm of comprehending languages. That's oh, true. Right. Um, and uh, fun fact, uh, Yalarian, the the bounty hunter, uh, is undercover as a bounty hunter, um, and that's the reason they were trying to get access to the library, but they wouldn't tell us more. Even though I tried. <laughs> cool. So, how far away is Millport? So, Millport, I think I believe I told you four, but then I reread the module and, oh, the weather's a little bit worse than we expected. Five. Okay. Okay. Uh, would you like, uh, do we have Do we have some sort of conveyance to Millport already lined up? I can't remember if we already we're, lined we're hiking it. We're hoping it. I've pretty much, yeah, uh, railroaded you guys to a hike to keep you <laughs> in the module. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> If it was by sea, I happen to have a. Uh, oh, a, you've got that hot cha cha background yeah, thing where you can get work. A feature that's the word for where yeah, I could unfortunately, definitely get a sea passage, but I don't think it's going to come to that. Amber Haven is uh, uh, inland, but uh, Millport mm-hmm. is on the coast, so you're heading uh, to the coast. Okay. So yeah, uh, I'll say you guys uh, light up bright and early the next morning, and uh, give me a marching order. Max blockchain up front or near, near the, either that or in the rear, guarding the rear. What are the other? Um, I'll go up front. I'll I'll go behind. Uh, is that Dorian? Yeah, mm-hmm. I'll go behind Dorian. I'm easy. I'll just be taking wide swings in the middle, keeping an eye out, like left and right, way to the wings. Yeah, I'll go behind Perilly or Perilly yeah. or whatever. Perilly. Perilly. Yeah. Whatever. You guys are probably all going to deliberately mispronounce it anyway, just to see really what it gets. Yeah, if it gets really? a rough. Listen, I, I'll go all. I'll go as wherever's downwind from y'all. Just, um, just to. Cordy, so Cordy it. and Max can take up the back. In the front, we'll have Dory, Pirelli, uh, Matlock, and uh, Nell. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Um, and why don't you give me, so the, uh, road to Millport is not, you know, um, notoriously bad or anything, um, but it also is, uh, prudent to cover your six. Mm -hmm. Um, so are you guys going to be setting watches? Yes. Oh, during sleep? Yeah. Yeah. I only have to sleep for four hours a night. You only have to sleep for? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, cool. I've got a cult yeah, after you. Up anyway. That's true. You do have a cult after you. That's. <laughs> and I think one of my 
one of my descriptions is I think that I I don't sleep much because my nerves are all oh, fucked up. Cool. All right. I so, can tell you what, if um if someone takes the first four hours, uh I'll I'll take the rest, like I, whatever. I volunteer for oh. four. Okay. All right. Oh, unless 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 you wanted it, uh Dorian. I was just gonna offer in case anybody needed to get their sleep. Okay, if I if I suddenly um Stop being neurotic, I will hit you up. <laughs> <laughs> so, we'll fast play to night number four. One more day out from uh, Millport. Cordy is impressed that no one has been complaining to his face about his smell. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is a weird you, world we live like, in. And I smell like fish all the time, so it's, you know, whatever. <laughs> Aim. <laughs> Frankly, uh, a walking, talking zombie is uh, not that unusual. I've got a special musk, <laughs> <laughs> and and it's just his southern charm too. Just yeah. right. You can tell, like he knows he's imposing a bit, so it's fine. <laughs> I mean, that's mostly. Uh, I I try to perfume the my, my rags a little bit better. Um, I just can't really <laughs> find a good scent. Um, I've got a lot of very sp- particular I don't like smells. Too fruity. Well, it, and then that's a sort of sweetness, and that smells like rot too. It just it's a whole thing. You should go just with like get some peat and like just lean into it and get that clean peat smell. Oh. Clean peat. Oh, yeah, well, that's not a bad that's idea. Sounds good. Yeah. And then you could be a spokesperson for clean peat. You could be clean peat. <laughs> clean, you know, clean peat is exactly like clean coal. I'm just saying. Well, yeah, but like, um, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> you know what? If we're if we're just gabbing, uh, Max, I've been curious. What uh, what's your deal? Yep, <laughs> that's my deal. You're looking at it. I'm not sure I understand the question. All right, what are you? What are you? Uh, what are you uh, about? About? I mean, doing things. <laughs> I mean, are you asking what what their specialty is? No, not really, because I I saw them make the what, what was that you made? Uh, you know, Morning Star at the time that seemed useful. Yeah, so you can just change that up. That's pretty neat. Yeah, I like bludgeoning people with spikes. Mm-hmm. I mean, do you have family? Where are you from? Like, what's well? Yeah, you know, I hired myself out for good work. I got tired of it. Huh. Maybe they got tired of me. Hard to say. All I know is I'm not up for that work anymore. Looking for the next best thing. Mm. You know, that almost rhymed. <laughs> what did? Uh, <laughs> you know, it already passed by me. Cool. <laughs> did I answer your question? Yeah, I think so. All right, then. Yeah, I, he's not upset. He's just like, okay. He, does, he, he was really, what he looked confused. Like, what kind of question is that? Pretty obvious I, what he does. I mean, honestly, just behind the table, I was like, I'm just like, what? It, I, I, I think he's just like, no, what's okay? I, I get g- giant pirate lady, okay, Brent? ninja. Yeah, that was that was a little inside baseball. Yeah. I'm just wanting to ask Damon. That was just like, <laughs> all right. So, I mean, if if we're, if we're gonna if we're gonna just reveal cards, it's just very simple. He's just an he's just an ex criminal uh, ah. uh, muscle. Cool. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's That's all good. relative, anyway. <laughs> who got tired? Who got tired of being the criminal muscle? It was no longer. It was no longer. Just you know, he just kept having to do things that just weren't that enjoyable or rewarding. Mm. Surely, there's somewhere else he could put these skills to use. Sure. Have you tried fishing? <laughs> <laughs> Imagining Mel Mel getting really close to Max and whispering that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's great. great I'm, to spend I'm, some time. <laughs> I'm very, very happy to be, yeah, uh, <laughs> bearded lady fairy godmother. <laughs> very happy with that. So the fourth night, you were telling us about that night. Yeah. So you guys have a, a bit of extra banter around the fire at dinner that night. Mm-hmm. And uh, it eventually uh, uh, peters out, and you all tuck her in for the night and set up for uh, watches and whatnot. I'll take the whatnot. <laughs> okay, you are uh, sleeping soundly. 
Um, Jenny. Yes? Give me a perception check for your watch. Nineteen. Nineteen, very good. Okay. So, uh, with a nineteen... Um, getting towards the end of your watch, getting, getting, uh, you know, well into full dark and well into the night, a ways off, uh, uh, you guys are camped probably a little bit off the road, but, uh, from the, uh, Millport direction, that traffic flow, you, uh, hear some rustling and movement, and with a 19, it seems like maybe it's a person and uh, some other things? small things hmm. um and it seems like they're trying to be sneaky about it <laughs> trying okay um i think maybe this calls for a bit of waking up because i'm not fighting these i'm not fighting these sneakies by myself uh i i would imagine that uh the what's his name With the 19 yeah you notice them really enough you you can go ahead and and start waking people up that is just fine Okay. Yes. So um, I'll I'll start with uh, with our bog mummy, or zombie. What is it? <laughs> what's what's going on? There's there's people trying to creep up on us. I can't see who they are, but I can see, I can I can definitely see that they're there. All right. Well, uh, why don't you go get Matlock, and uh, I'll get Dorian, and then uh, we'll uh, we'll try to get Max up as quickly as possible too. Okay, that might be a difficult thing, but okay, we can. We'll, we'll, I'll, go. I'll, right. I'll do that. So I go over and shake awake uh, Matlock. Okay, and uh, Cordy tries to sneak over to Put Dorian. Put my leg in a tea kettle. So. My leg in a tea kettle. Before you can get to you, Dorian. And uh, Max, I need uh, initiatives. Okay, I love it. All right, here we go. Ooh, nice and flat. So Max is to still going to be sleepy. Eh? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you guys roll initiative because you'll you'll only you're only going to lose one round. I right. wouldn't roll a d12 for initiative. I. I mean, you you, you can prefer- choose to. Yeah, I'm only gonna uh, 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 cut you guys out one round here, so so oh, we'll wow. initiative and we'll just bring it back around. Two. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me get back. Oh, yeah. Look at that That's pretty low. Here. Two. It's a two. Yeah. Fourteen. It's a Mario. Matt Lock at a two. Dory at a ten. I mean, you're very startled from that tea, that tea kettle dream that you had. Absolutely. I understand. That's that's awful. You slime dice. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, oh, and uh, Nell was at a ten. Yeah. I uh, Nell, what's your what's your dex mod? It's nothing. Zero. zero. Dory, I assume yours is higher than zero. That's four. Okay, so uh, you guys could choose to switch, but I'm just going to put you down as Dory, then no. Okay. Pirelli, about this time, just as you are starting to uh, shake, you were going for uh, Matlock. No, you were going for... Who were you going for last? Matlock. Matlock. Uh, So just as you're starting to shake uh, Matlock awake, you turn around and uh, 30 feet away, there are... three giant rats that you see and you see another uh figure probably another 30 feet back behind that uh and it looks like he's cocking a crossbow Hmm. boy all right i've got a dart and i've got a pretty high uh just sort of dexterity and sleight of hand and everything in general so i'd like to throw the dart at the figure uh, ignore the giant rats and try to throw the figure at the dart Sorry. Throw the dart at the figure. Okay, you know what uh, I, mean. <laughs> I do. I I know exactly what you mean. Uh, go ahead and uh, roll the hit with that dart. That is an eleven to hit. Unfortunately, an eleven misses. It was a it was a, it was a fine effort. It was. Um, it looks like Matlock's waking up, so you could certainly, so you could still. I don't know if you you probably have bonus actions. As a I monk, 
I do. Um, or you could use your movers or anything else you want to do, I guess is what I'm asking. Okay, would would the dart be a monk weapon because that kind of came with everything? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna like jump over the rats and do an unarmed strike. Okay, on the on the rats. Uh, actually, yeah. Let's just let's get the rats out of the way. Let's, yeah, I'll because go. I don't know if you'd have enough movement. You need sixty feet of movement to get to the the person in the back. I got real high acrobatics. <laughs> I don't think you have sixty feet. Worth. <laughs> You're <laughs> but, right. Uh, you you can you can use the... your movement to get to to one of the rats. Okay. Um. In that case, I will uh, take up my quarter staff. No bonus action with unarmed strike. I will I will go and uh, karate chop the middle rat. Beautiful. That is an eight. Jeez. An eight does not hit, I am afraid. Okay, the flying kick did not work. All right. Yeah. So that brings us to, yeah, and that's most of your movement probably. And if you backed up, you they'd all attack you. Um, okay. So you just want to hang out there? Is that the plan? I'm just going to wait there and okay. wait for someone to come to my aid. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, uh, Cordy. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Uh, so Cordy is uh, going to is is anyone still asleep at this point, or is it loud enough that it's like popped off? So uh, Dory and uh, Matlock are both uh, in the process of waking up, and they will probably be on their feet in six seconds or so. Okay, so Cordy doesn't need to say anything to to get people to wake up. Uh, no. So he is to um, he is going to let out a a bit of a a cry. And with my action, I'm going to use my wild shape ability Ooh. to activate my symbiotic entity. Uh, so I get eight temporary hit points. I roll double damage for my halo of spores damage, which hasn't popped up yet. And I deal an extra D6 uh, necrotic damage when I hit with a melee attack. Uh, <laughs> so then I'm going to rumble forward uh, just like the like the fungus that's inside of me has like grown and expanded and it's like supporting my arms and it's like a little bit of like a armor as well um i'm just a straight up fucking resident evil character at the moment <laughs> um Where did that's you freaking get- sweet yeah swamp thing uh so then uh with i who can i get up can i get up to the guy with the crossbow with uh, 30 feet of movement you can get to the rats with 30. Uh, the man with the crossbow is at 60. Okay. Test again if you let go of the weapon. Okay, so that doesn't give me a free hit. Okay, but I am going to go ahead and use my bonus action uh, to cast Shillelagh. Um, yes. So then my club that I've got, or uh, it's it's my staff. I've got a staff, that's what it is, uh, that I cast my druid spells through. So, like, he... Kicks that against the ground, and the fungus spreads even more uh, to just like reinforce some of the hard points of the striking bit of the the staff head. And that's my turn. I'm I'm uh, I'm gonna go to toe with those rats, and I've got I got fungus, and I've got fungus, and <laughs> I've got fungus. I dig that, and I just had a really cool idea based on those last two turns. Right? Uh, well, no, a monk. With a mm-hmm. uh, uh, magic adept and take uh, druid spells so they can cast Shillelagh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a really good that's a great way to and just pop kind of, a magic weapon. And it would be it would have to be a simple or it, it would have to be a staff or a, so those are simple weapons and mm-hmm. that would fall under the the monk weapon dice thing. So. And then you get a couple other druid cantrips, and you get a spell. Yeah, you you do lose it's a little my bit favorite of usefulness for the shillelagh, shillelagh um, later on because your monk, your monk weapon dice is going to go past what shillelagh yeah. can do. But we're getting far yep. afield. Anyway, uh, uh, so that's Cordy's turn. Um, Dory uh, uh, will be up next round. Uh, no. Yoki. Um. If I am near a rat, or yeah, or if I can get to one, I do want to kick it into a tree with my peg leg. Go for it. <laughs> um, um, are you are you doing an improvised weapon or an unarmed strike? Unarmed strike. Okay. Unarmed strike. Well, you've had your peg leg long enough. You're not improvising with it. You're just straight up using it. I I I can get on board with that. 
yeah, uh, an arm strike. Uh, well, it would be a really cool thing if um, an 11 were to hit. An 11 does not hit. You guys are mm-hmm. sleepy. You guys are just waking up here, I guess. Don't you have a don't you have reckless attack? Um, you have to rage I first. assumed that I would have to go into a rage first, and I didn't say that I would, and I was just waking up. So let's not retcon that. Can you only? No. Oh. It's you... not automatic anyway. Oh, I that. Um, Die. Oh no, this is nice because um, maybe this will last longer than one round this way. <laughs> um, uh, Matlock is just waking up. Uh, it is the rat's turn. So let's see here. They have uh, Pirelli, Cordy, and Nell up in their grizzles. Uh-huh. So I guess you're each going to get one rat tack. And they get to use their pack tactics. Rat tack, pat tactics. Whoa. <laughs> right? Dude, somebody reboot Cam. <laughs> ah, the DM skipping. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta. Okay, so the attack against. We'll just go in the order that you guys are in initiative. That'll make it easy. That is easy. Uh, Pirelli. That's the rat. That's the noise they're making before they bite you. Oh, it's the first attack. Yep. Okay. I can't. I dodge them. Can't I, I was... jump over them? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, does a 16 hit? Yeah, unfortunately it does. My AC is 15. Mm-hmm. That's going to be for 5 damage. The nasty rat? I don't have much luck with rats. Right. Um, okay, Cordy does a... My AC is 14. Uh, no, that, that rat actually uh, somehow lunges at you and... Uh, it, as it lunges at you, the stench of it, uh, stench of you actually makes it recoil. And this is a <laughs> goddamn rat. And it actually uh, backs up so quickly that it trips over itself and it falls on its back prone. I, wow. <laughs> I am. I because mean, it rolled a one. <laughs> yeah, buddy. I am. I have to warn you, I'm partially poisonous. <laughs> right. Um, and the one in front of Nell. Uh, that rolled a two, so I'm betting that doesn't hit. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, gnawing on the wooden leg. Okay, so that's their turn. Uh, the gentleman in the back is probably pretty afraid of the giant swamp thing, so he's going to take a poke with his uh, hand crossbow. Cool. He gets a basically a free hit with his temp HP. Use it up, bud. With a that's a uh, non natural twenty. Oh, yeah. Well, that 30, will twenty for five piercing damage. Cool. Fungus takes it. Okay. Does that was that how many temporary hit points he had? Uh, no. I've got three no. left. You've got three left. That's awesome. Um, mm. And that brings us back around to Pirelli. So you mm-hmm. and Cordy and Nell are three abreast uh, faced off against. Oh, and the uh, person in the back moves back 30 feet after firing those shots. How many yeah, feet so Pirelli, are they now? So they, from you, yeah. they are 90 feet away. Okay. So, yeah, Pirelli, you are with Cordy and Nell against uh, three rats, and uh, there's a man 60 feet away from you. Let's go for that middle rat again. Okay. With my my quarter staff. 24. There's a hit. Yep. Hey. Woohoo. Oh, man. Let me get get the damage here. Uh, Bludgeoning. That's that's a classic. Four. Four damages? Four. Because I it was the, my one d eight was a one. Okay. Uh, so that really rocked him, and uh, uh, a good side of his head is is pretty bloodied up, and he's not looking well, but he's still on his feet. All right, bonus action. Uh, how about a flurry of blows? Cool. That costs a key point, right? Uh, um. Yes. Okay. Nine. Nine to hit. Yep. Nine misses. I'm afraid. Yeah, all right. Okay. Well, 
Valiant effort. Uh, Cordy. Okay. So we've got how many rats in front of us? Three. One of them looks beat up. Okay. And the man with the crossbow has now run 60 feet away. 60 feet from you, yes. Okay. Do I have any kind of way of dashing in order to get to him? Like, I would say that uh, uh, because... So you take attacks of opportunity from all three rats mm-hmm. if you use your dash. Um, and uh, uh, I would say that because you'd either have to go over a rat, which would be difficult terrain, or around, you would... What's your move? Your move is 30. I've got 30 feet. Can I get within you, 10 you'd come feet up, of him? Is yes, you, you could get just within 10 feet of him. You, you couldn't get into a uh, normal 5-foot melee range, but do you have reach? You have reach, uh, I don't, have reach. don't you? I've got okay. something else I've been forgetting you've, about. You've got a fucking glaive, don't you? Uh, no, I do not. Okay. I do not. Uh, mm-hmm. yeah, so you can get within 10 feet if okay. you dash. You yep, take I'm three attacks dash. of opportunity. Well, okay, you take attack. three attacks of opportunity. Um... By the way, folks, that means that everyone can move around these rats if they want to now, since they're using their reaction. <laughs> that that is true. Technically, a tactical move. So I got eighteen. That hits. A uh, sixteen. That hits. And a uh, twenty-two. Would you know? You know, Mike. My gambit here might have uh, not uh, worked out, but how much damage is it? So that's 14 points of damage. Okay. Okay. I am bloodied, but miraculously (laughs) still standing. Okay, and then you're using your movement to get within 10 feet of uh, Mr. McCrossbow? Yep. Okay. And then that ends your turn. Yes. Uh, then that brings us on to Dory, your turn. You are uh, awake and up and at them. And at them. How far, how far up away and is... and at them. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. Will you let me ask my question, please? How far I'm sorry. Da- Damon and I were doing a bit. Oh, I thought you were being a bitch to your wife. Um... No, no. Da- da- Damon and I were doing a bit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um... <laughs> Uh, 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 how far away am I from the man with the, or the person with the crossbow? You'd be 90 feet. 90? That's a tall order. Oh no, I've got it. Just trying to figure out. Yeah. (laughs) Don't monk shit, man. Um. Monk shit, I guess. Yeah. Uh, why not? I am just gonna, I'm gonna spend a key point to, uh, for Step of the Wind. And... And I'm just gonna, I won't be able to do anything else, but I'm gonna, act, you know, uh, use my action dash and my key point to move 91 feet <laughs> and, <Aha! laughs> and sneak up behind this motherfucker Jeez. and just see if I can. But no, get, what's, what's, what's your move with that? 120. Okay, then yes, you can do that. Wow. Uh, do I need to make a st- can I make a st- stealth check while I'm doing this just to see if he's distracted enough not to notice me? You can make one, but it's going to need to be well, no because that would be your action to try to move stealthy. Fair enough. Good mm. call. Thought I'd try. Anyway, yeah, I'm just going to move no. behind this person. Okay. And are you standing just directly on their opposite side now? Yeah, I, I, just, okay. I in, in they're back. Or... Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, I, I, I will say because they've got uh, a hand crossbow, right? Yes. Yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll stand. You know what? I will go ahead and stand fifteen feet away because I've got the movement for it. Okay. Uh, uh, that brings us around to Nell. So last I recall. I swing and a miss, rat, narratively, latched onto my leg leg and is gnawing on it to cause me (laughs) zero hit points of damage. Yeah, I think I would, like, um, call this another unarmed strike to, like, like, bash it on the ground or a tree and, like, kick it (laughs) with my leg leg. There's absolutely a a rock sticking up you could try to... Yeah, there is. I'm gonna bash the fucking rat skull. (laughs) Do it. Okay. 
All right, so that is an 18 to hit. An 18 does hit. Three is the damage. Three damage? Okay. Yeah. It didn't like that, but it's still do it. It's still there. It's a flavor win. Yep. Uh, no, it certainly is. <laughs> um, I like that. Matlock. Go. Oh. You are you are up and ready. Okay. Um. So, how many of my compatriots are taking care of these rats? So we have two on the rats. And what kind of and what kind of shape are these rats in? Uh, two are not great. One seems fine. Okay, and then this this individual with the crossbow is ninety feet away from me. Ninety feet away from me. Uh, uh, or ninety feet away from you. Uh, Cordy is just a little bit closer to you than him, and uh, you can just make out Dory on the horizon. Okay. Would you say I have an unobstructed line of sight towards this individual? I would say if you moved 10 feet to your right, you would. Okay, well, uh, my next question is, are there any loose rocks lying around here? Uh, Preferably ones about weighing about five pounds. I am so glad you are doing this. (laughs) <laughs> yes, yes, they they are okay. readily available. In fact, there's uh uh some that you use to make the the ring around the fire and okay. they uh, are okay. uh still warm and they would probably do uh one point of fire damage in addition on Oh, uh, well let's take a hot rock. So I will slide <laughs> to the right and I will um I'm going to cast uh catapult on one of these <laughs> 5 pound Fire rocks. I'm so thrilled for this. <laughs> and uh, that is going to fly in a straight line up to 90 feet in a direction which I am choosing. Okay, before it either falls to the ground or makes contact with another object. Uh, choose one object weighing one to five pounds within range that isn't being worn or carried. Object flies in a straight line up to 90 feet in a direction you choose before falling to the ground. Stopping early if it impacts against a solid surface. If the object would strike a creature, that creature must make a dex saving throw, which in this case is 13. I am going to 13. ask that you permit that if this individual is at 90 feet, then the rock will mm-hmm. still be traveling at full speed at that 90 feet. Yeah, it uh, breaks some physics. It goes 90 feet, 90 feet full speed and then just drops straight to the ground. <laughs> It either hits something or it hits an invisible wall. So yes, you get full speed. All um, right. So that is a dex 13, you said? That is a dex 13 saving throw, yeah. That is a failure. Ah, no. Jackass! <laughs> that is sweet. <laughs> oh, well. It was worth a shot. So No, no. He failed to save. I'm sorry. Oh, he failed to save. Oh. Yes, yes. I'm sorry. Oh, I, I misexplained that. Yeah, roll that damage. Gonna, that's going to be three d8 bludgeoning damage. Holy which I'm shit! Ro- rolling right now. No. Oh, and that. What have we got? We yeah. have six, twelve. That is twelve bludgeoning damage. Twelve. Holy oh, crap! So that oh. takes him down to. Oh, doesn't it do thirteen with the fire damage? It does. It does 13. It does <laughs> one fire damage. Yeah, well, Fucking uh, excellent play, Tom. Oh, I see. That is sweet. Sweet. Trouble, trouble is a two-way street, says Matlock. I mean, you don't oh, quite God. score a home run. You you catch him on the shoulder, and it kind of flips his shoulder and bounces up and off the side of his head and uh-huh. uh, uh, really rocks him, but he's still standing. That's sweet. Right. Uh, you have, uh, I think you have probably 20 feet of movement left if you want to head in a direction. Um, no, I think I should hang back here. Or you can hang, hang out where here. you are. Okay. I think I should hang back here. And then I believe that uses up one of my spell slots, correct? Correct. Yep. It uses up okay. one spell slot. Thank you. And that's a first level spell. You only have first level spells. Yep. We're only at level two. Okay, so that brings us around to the top of the order again with the rats. Okay, let's go. Let's go get that middle rat again because he's looking. No, it's back. it's it's their turn. Oh no! 
Yeah. <laughs> and that middle rat is is going to come get get you. All right, fine. <laughs> With a That's a 15 to hit. Um I am a 15. So that does hit. Oh. Uh, Four. Okay. Oh man. Six damages. Six? Six. Okay. One six. I need a healer over here. <laughs> Down to four out of fifteen. Ah. Oh. Okay. The next rat is going to target uh uh it sees its buddy holding on to a peg leg for dear life. Yeah. So it's going to target uh, Nell. Typical. <laughs> with a... Man, these guys are rolling well. That's a 16 to hit. Yeah, that'll do it. For... Man, these guys are rolling really well. That's uh, five points of damage. Biting damage. Okay. Piercing. Okay. Um, and then the one that is stuck to your leg is going to uh, uh, attack you, too. Hmm. With a, oh, that's probably not going to hit. That's a seven. That is not high enough. <laughs> he did get his little rat snoot booped a little earlier. <laughs> um, now that brings us around to uh, Cross Bowman. So before you begin. Okay. I'm going to use my reaction for the turn to activate Hail of Spores. Uh, he needs to make a constitution saving throw since he's within 10 feet of me. Okay. <laughs> What's my target? Uh, 13. That I rolled a 15. That makes a 16. Great. I'm rolling really well here. <laughs> you are. It's kind of fun. It's commendable. You are I have nothing further. <laughs> okay, so he just uh, uh, seeing that you and Dorian have oh. him north south. He is just going to use his movement and his action to move sixty feet to the uh, west. Um, and as he goes off that way, he's moving into some. Th- Thicker stuff. Actually, no, he's not going to do that. He's only going to move 30 feet to the west. Um, uh, he still has... Go ahead. Yeah, uh, I was just about to ask if uh, Dory gets an attack of opportunity. I am not within melee. I gave myself oh. some distance. Gotcha. Cool, cool. Yeah. And then, after he moves 30 feet, he is going to say hello to Dorian with his hand crossbow. Hmm. With a, oh wow, 22 to hit. Yeah. Um, and that is 7 piercing damage. So that brings us back around to uh, Pirelli. Okay, so now I can try bludgeoning it again? You sure can. Please do. Okay. Did we skip Max? We seem oh, to. Yeah. yeah, let's go back to Max. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, Max. Yay! So Max is up and running. I'm very right? sorry. Yep. Yes, yes, yes. Go yes, get yes. Him. Well, form blazing sword, and I there's there's a there a fresh rat that needs some freshing. Yes, there's one fresh rat. Oh yeah, that's the one I want. He's looking off fresh. Sitting well, there. Uh, I still had a good roll. Thirteen. Thirteen hits. Oh, <laughs> lucky, lucky. I'll take it. Oh, max damage, though. Twelve. Oh. Twelve. He is done. That's Everybody great. else is kind of shoo-shoo, get him off, and you just come up and smoke one. Like it. <laughs> well done. Now, Pirelli, you can do some bludgeoning. Okay. Uh, d- which which one did uh, did Max just take out? He took out the, the fresh one. So the one that was, uh, one of the ones that was engaged with uh, Nell. Okay, well, I'll go back to my middle rat again and see what I can cool. do. Cool. And hope, and hope he doesn't kill me this time since I've only got four hit points. Maybe I should maybe I should get healed or something instead. I mean, uh, do you have a way to heal yourself? No. So you could use your action to disengage and move away? I have a plus two in medicine, but I don't think that means anything. Um, Not in this uh, particular moment, no. 
Okay, you know, uh, it may kill me, but I'm just going. I'm going to go ahead and and uh, and bludgeon this rat. Have at it. Twenty one. Twenty one hits. Very well. Ooh. Let's hope ooh, I get ooh, some damage. Eleven. Eleven damage. Mm-hmm. Splat. He's done. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> nice. Finally, a win. Well <laughs> done. Yeah. Bonus action. Flurry of blow. <laughs> no, wait. He's dead. <laughs> um, you could you could turn and do bonus action flurry of blows to uh Nell's peg leg one. I'll give it a try. I just hold it out and like, could you give me a hand? All right, flurry of blows. The bugger's got me bedeviled. Ten. A ten does not hit. Son okay. of a bitch. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, you're on your own now. <laughs> you know what? You guys are flanking. Roll with advantage. <laughs> this is comical enough. It, it, if it's not flanking, it's it's instant inspiration because this is hilarious. Seventeen. Seventeen hey. hits. There you go. There uh, it is. And how much damage do that do? Six. 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 All right. All right. <laughs> After so, the rat uh, nearly bit ahead. me, to, I killed two of them. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> Oh, you made quick work with them when you guys got going there anyway. Yeah. We needed Max to show you the way. <laughs> this, this is true. Max had, Max had to show us how it was done. He's an inspiring violence friend. Mm-hmm. Yes, he is. Okay. Uh, 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 sorry. Uh, Cordy is up then. Vibe check on Dorian. How you doing, Dorian? Uh, vibe check? Um, okay. Like... Uh, uh, I'm not bloodied yet, but I'm close. Okay, you are close to being bloodied. Okay, cool. That Pirelli makes this next part easier. Uh, but Pirelli is right now... What, there's no more rats left, right? Pirelli's in rough shape, yeah. Correct, there are no more rats left. Yeah. So I'm going to cast Entangle on the uh, on the man inside the, the forest there. He done goofed. He got deeper into the woods? <laughs> is, that a, is that a save? Uh, yes, he will need to make a strength saving, uh, strength strength saving throw of thirteen. He rolled a fourteen. Are you kidding me? Damn, dude! Can I Sorry. can I make some kind of weird argument that he's in dense undergrowth? So maybe he rolls with <laughs> disadvantage. <laughs> I'm just, I you know what? I'm not going to actually beg for it. I understand. Just it's dice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, do the thing so bad. I do. <laughs> I know. Okay. I I do move close so that I'm within ten feet of him again. The okay. problem here is that you know because the save failed, you don't get any experience for that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't have any fun with your friends. Yeah, That's it was right. terrible. I love you guys. <laughs> that was Cordy, uh, uh, Dorian. Uh, I'd like to run up to him and hit him with a stick. Okay. Uh, as, um, but I'm assuming that Cordy was only 10 feet away, right? 10 feet away from the gentleman? Correct. Yeah. So I can't, so it wouldn't count as flanking if I got there. How much movement do you have? 40. With the diagonal mm-hmm. that you guys are moving at, I don't think so, no. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um, but then, they're going twice. Uh, okay, so I'm going to try to hit it with my stick. Uh, oh, fuck, that's a 10. That doesn't hit. Um, 10 does not hit, I'm afraid. But I'm going to take my uh, bonus action unarmed strike. That is an 18. 18 hey. does hit. We so like what that. I'm going to do with this one is I am going to... Uh, this is going to be a disarming attack. Okay. So um, I need them to make a strength saving throw of DC 14. Okay. That is a 7. They fail. <laughs> Um, so, in addition to taking, where is it? Ten points of bludgeoning damage. Ugh. He drops his crossbow. Okay. You just bicycle kick it out of his hands. Yeah, I'm like, fuck you for shooting me. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. Um, and I and I and I wait in melee. Okay. <laughs> well done. Uh. Uh. No. Um. There are. Uh. A pile of dead rats around you. A uh, uh, not great looking Pirelli next to you. A fine looking uh, Max Power next to you. 
And a bunch of rumblings around in the brush. Blockchain. Probably. Max Block. I'm sorry, Max Blockchain. I'm still on a Simpsons kick, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, some rumblings in the brush, probably 100, 120 feet away from you. Uh, rumblings. Can you re-describe the nature of the rumblings? Just like uh, it sounds, it noise? sounds like a giant spore monster and a person with a crossbow and a monk that likes to fish are fighting. Uh, I see. Um, I, I'm a fisherman that just happens to be a monk. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> um. Yeah, I have no healing to offer. Uh, my compatriot Perilli, but I would. Grab my anchor and haul off in the direction of the ruckus. Of the fracas, you might say. What's your move, 60? Um, I probably only have 30 feet. Well, are you dashing? Uh, dashing. I don't know if... Does everyone have a dash? <laughs> yeah, you can, you okay. can dash. Out. You yeah. can use your action to move an extra 30 feet. That's I can part. go 60. Yeah. Okay. Then, then you get about... <laughs> So yeah, you do that, and yeah, you get about halfway to to where you would need to be to do something. Expected. Um, yep, Max. Oh yeah, uh, go chase after the rumblings. And you have a. I can have a dash feet, of uh, thirty foot regular moving speed. So you're gonna move and dash. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you uh, are neck and neck with uh, our good friend Nell. Uh, I rats! Now. Oh, they're all mush. <laughs> Other gentlemen, let's see here. He is going to go ahead and just turn tail and flee, which would give uh, an attack of opportunity. It would. Yep. And does he need to make a spore check? He does. Thank you. I was just uh, about to call him with that. So how does that work? Is it at the start of... Start of his turn, he needs to. Uh, I can use my reaction to uh, activate the spores. Tell me exactly how it works. Sure, you can. You can use your reaction to deal one d four necrotic damage to one creature you can see when it moves into one a space creature you can see. Ten... Okay, that's yeah. just fine. I was just making sure it wasn't an yeah. area effect that was going to catch. Oh, uh... no, no, it's not. It's okay. Weirdly uh, directed. It's I like to imagine okay. that it's so, the fungus. Has so like what's? Little I'm sorry. What's thing. the save? Uh, Constitution thirteen. Rolled an eighteen. Are you kidding me? It, I am not. Uh, uh, take your uh, attack of opportunity. Yeah, um, I'd love to. Uh, no, you don't get an attack of opportunity. Oh, okay. You were ten feet away. Take your attack of opportunity, uh, Dorian. I missed. You missed. Okay, so he moves uh, sixty feet away. Someone, do you guys have dark vision? Yeah, you no, do. I'm a... Okay, um, so yeah, you can still see him, uh, uh, reasonably fine, but it is dark and there is cover, and and uh, that might be an issue later, uh, Cordy. And that brings us to uh, Pirelli's turn, or I'm sorry, uh, uh Dorian's turn. Oh, it does. Um, no, that was the way Red's turn. I'm sorry, it does bring me to Pirelli's turn. I um, got confused with I, reactions there. Look at that Matlock! Oh, yes, I'm sorry, Matlock. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put Matlock here. I'm... What about Matlock? Okay, um, yeah. Uh, I will just... Matlock's just going to cast Healing Word on Pirelli. So... Oh, well, that's thank you. That's... Me. I... It's going to be 1d4 plus my spellcasting ability, which is charisma in my case. So I believe that's 7. Thank you. That picked me up to 11. Sure. Woo. I appreciate and it. That, and that is my... And then Matlock will follow the others at a leisurely pace. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Uh, I'm sorry. I, my handwriting made Matt and Max look almost identical, and I got confused there for a minute. Okay. Um, uh, now we are. I'm sorry. So now we are on to uh, uh, Pirelli. Now we're on to Pirelli. There we are. Um, I guess I'll I'll just run off after the others. Okay. So then, yeah, you get up to uh, where Max and uh, Nell are. Okay. Uh, now we are at Cordy's turn. Great. Hmm. 
And this dude seems just hell-bent on tearing off through the brush and getting the fuck away from you guys. Man, I understand that, but I'm going to have to try to entangle him again. You have, you understand, right? I do. Uh, he needs to make a strength saving throw as vines kind of grow from the underbrush around him and wrap about his arms and legs and whatnot. I'm super sorry, dude. I rolled a natural 20. I'm, I, I'm livid. Well, I move within 10 feet of him. Constitution saving throw. You can't because do apparently that. This man has legendary you, you, resistance. You use you use your action to cast entangle. You only have thirty feet of movement. Yeah. Did he? And he moved thirty feet of what? He he moved no, he moved sixty. Yeah. Cool. Well, I moved thirty feet. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we're we're doing this. He's staying within sixty feet of me, so I can see him. <laughs> is is his name White Bronco? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's hauling ass. He's not. <laughs> I love that. Um. Okay, so that was uh, Cordy. Now we're at Dorian. Uh, I'll dash, and I'll head him off, and I, I, I will say, I can do this all night. Stop where you are. <laughs> okay. Um, I can do this all day. Excellent. Nelly. I would yell at the top of my voice, which would be a big one. I can't see, you blasted thing. Where is everyone? <laughs> Hello. Like, yeah, it's kind of coming from... For, there, there's an area in front of you that all kinds of noises are coming from different places at this point. Yeah. W yeah, where's the where's the action at? Polo! Polo. So I would run towards... <laughs> I'd run towards Cordy's voice. Um, okay. Call it a dash. I, I still... I think you're still a good... Let's see, you would be coming in at kind of an angle. You're, you're still a good 40, 50 feet away from him. I believe but... that. That's the thing. Yeah. If, if Nell or I can either entangle or just grapple him, if we just hold him in place, <laughs> a world of shit is about to happen. <laughs> might just tell us something. Exactly. Okay, Matlock. Um, how far is this individual from me at this point? Oh, from you, he is a hundred, wow. probably closer to two hundred feet, and and in the woods. Well, there's not this an is... awful lot I can do. I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna keep hurrying along behind. Hold on, do I have a quip? No. Nope. <laughs> I shall just, I shall just hurry along, quipless behind. Okay. <laughs> uh. Uh. Max power. Is your uh, Matlock quote Matt, I'm sorry, down Max, Max blockchain. It is, I mean, you know, is there any way that I'm able to catch this person? You know, you were talking about, like, angles of attack and so on. Uh, from as far away as you are, I mean, unless we end up playing this really long game, no. Well, I mean, you can keep moving the, in that direction, and if he this, cuts off and gets herded back, but it, it might be several this, rounds. This is where everybody else is going, so I'm doing it. Okay, yeah. so you're going to move, and you've got a move of, what, 60 with your dash, you said? Yep. Okay, okay. I love this. This is fun. <laughs> and that takes us back uh, uh, up around to uh, Cross Bowman. Um, and, uh, yeah, he is going to, again, split the difference between Dorian and Cordy and move away from the uh, rest of the party uh, 60 feet. Um, can I take an attack of opportunity, please? You can. Let me go back to my dice, because I'm trying to feed cats and do this at the same time. <laughs> You're a superhero. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. Come on. Don't fuck me, dice. Fucking hell, that's a nine. Oh my god. That, that misses. He... I'm just fast. I can't hit. Yeah. Did someone... Hits on Gary Gygax's grave before they played this game? What the hell? <gasps> um, let's see here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so uh, uh, Cross Bowman uh, moves off 30 feet. And then there is a uh, shift, and he shrinks down into something that door you can't quite make out and just drops into the undergrowth and he still seems to be there but you can't see him for the the undergrowth fuck either of you guys okay i, I would 
I would like to move to the closest spot and just like look around. Just you can, see you can, if I can. Okay. I have dark vision. You have dark vision. Okay, so yeah, I, I'm gonna go ahead and take us out of initiative at this point. Okay. Um, but yes, Cordy, uh, uh, you can do that. I run over and I throw up my I throw my fishing net over the area where I saw him uh, disappear. There we go. Unfortunately, there is enough undergrowth that the fishing net just kind of rests on top of. Sorry. You know what? I um, feel like this guy is supposed to get away. All right. Uh, you you can you can certainly make the try. I'm just I'm I'm he's doing his level best to get away. I. I and I, and. I Rolls are going my way, but that's. If he's smaller, he's not this. I, 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 I would like to investigate the area where he disappeared. Okay. Just I'll try. I will assist. I'll let it happen. Okay. It's dark, and you don't have dark vision. I don't know, but but I'll let you assist. No, I, I, I. Oh, I gotcha. It's advantage. It's plus a number. Plus, right. I got a sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah, uh, there is a, another giant rat that you managed to get eyes on in the uh, undergrowth. But did did he shrink down into being the giant rat? Uh, that is your uh, what's your intelligence? Uh, ten. Ten. Even with a ten, that's that's your that's your best guess. That seems to be. I mean, it's right where you saw him. Right. Okay. And he didn't get smaller than the... Okay, so he probably turned into the rat. Cool. I can dig this. Uh, I would like to smush the rat with my magic stick. Um. Which kind of puts us back into initiative again. Yeah, it does. Uh, but we're just going to say... We're just going to keep the same initiative, and that'll come around. Uh, we'll say you just took your turn. All right. Excellent. Don't worry, guys. I'll make the combat last longer. <laughs> I should take away Dory's turn for, for giving you that assist there, but Dory, go ahead and take your turn. You can see that Cordy's pointing right there, right there. Yep. That's okay. That's and looks like this one's going to go to three sessions, guys. That's okay. <laughs> I mean, that's one shots too. I'm I'm never like fast enough to keep up with people that run away. I couldn't I couldn't let it go. <laughs> okay, because I want to hit this stupid rat with my stupid stick. I'd hope that I stupid hit it. That's going to be... Am I flanking with Cordy? Uh, I would say yes, but you don't have dark vision, so it's just a straight roll. Okay. Uh, I... oh. okay my, first attack, my first attack was an 8. Um, my second attack, that's better, is a uh, 21. Okay. 21 hits. Okay. That is six points of bludgeoning damage. I kick him with my foot. Flat, he's done. And uh, uh, as that happens, he starts to shift again, and he ends up about halfway between a rat and a person. Yeah. Ooh, is he a were-rat? I mean, he's halfway between a rat and a person. I mean, just like... Uh, yes, I like... he's a were-rat. Okay, cool, Kick. yeah. Cam accidentally oh, let that uh, slip during initiative earlier. It was great. Oh, did I? Yeah. Um, Search his pockets. Uh, yeah. Uh, so he has a regular short sword on him. Okay. He's got the crossbow that you saw. Um, mm -hmm. And oh, he's got... He wasn't an angry bowman. He had a crossbow. He, 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 he doesn't have the crossbow. He doesn't have the crossbow. He never picked well, I it said, up. I said there is the crossbow that you saw. You okay. know the crossbow exists. Yes. I'm very proud um, of the fact that He did I not pick it back up. No. Uh, you guys might actually have a hard time tracking that back down if you try to. Um, there was a lot of scurrying back and forth there. Um, uh, and I'm going to say he has uh, eight copper and two silver. Okay. I don't really care about the money, but he doesn't have any kind of identification or like orders to like go kill a hardy group of adventurers or anything like nope. that. No, he's he's uh uh you would judge his garb to be that of a highwayman. Ah, uh, okay. Well, let's hope he did. Oh, let's hope he didn't have any friends or any more friends. Oh, that was weird. Uh, yeah. So for what it's worth, that's situation came right at the end of Pirelli's watch. 
So Max, you everybody could still get a full rest in tonight. I would love that. Cool. Do I do I heal more if I rest? You will heal all the way if you rest. Hooray! And also, I realized this. Uh, I, I reread my whole traits. Uh, I only have to like rest for four hours, and the whole time I just need to be inactive and motionless, but I'm still conscious. Okay. <laughs> So I kind of, I can kind of just sit in the middle of camp. So, but that would just put you at your passive perception then. Yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't get it just so you know how that would work. I think. Yeah, that, that's fine. If if okay. you can just tell me it's 10 plus the, the skill that you have expertise in or not expertise, excuse me, uh, proficiency well, just, in, I'm okay with that. Yeah. What, what's your passive perception? 15. Okay, cool. Good to know. Uh, so yeah, what do you guys do? I'm just that is an option. I, I would regain my spell slots too, right? Yep, yeah, because yep, everybody would pretty much reset to new, except uh, well, Gordy would get oh. a long rest. So yeah. Well, mm -hmm. well, that was a that was a long ass combat. Yeah, <laughs> so, it was. Um, I'd I'd be happy. To, I'm almost afraid to go back to sleep again. But mm -hmm. um, I'm not. Would this be a short? Would this be a short rest or a long rest? This would be, be a long, long rest. rest. Oh, okay. Dorian's already yeah, asleep uh, in Berlin. Um, jeez. Uh, well, as long as as long as you don't throw anything else at us, Cam. Uh, before well, we mean, get to the before we get to this market, <clears throat> I would be I would be in favor of of taking a long rest. We'll see no, what happens. Going, going back to sleep. Yes, do a long rest. Okay, and you said your passive perception was. 15? 1-5. I was just rolling dice by my mic to troll you mm -hmm. guys. Nothing happens nah. throughout the watch. Cool. You all get a long rest. Cool. Because cool. also... It's just a random highwayman. It's just a dead zombie-looking fungus thing standing <laughs> in, the in the woods and it stinks. <laughs> Dandy were-rat highwayman. No. <laughs> Yeah, somebody's gotta find him tomorrow. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, so uh uh with that you guys sleep in a little bit late the next morning and yeah, you roll into uh Millport uh late in the afternoon the the following day. Excellent. What's Millport like? Millport is actually so it's like uh uh most cities of the time you'll you'll find some more Ba, 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 working class, let's say, housing okay. on the uh, uh, outskirts of town, and then as mm -hmm. you move towards the center of town, it gets a little bit bougier. It doesn't feel particularly seedy. It's a port city, so there's uh, a lot of different people, a lot of trade going back and forth. It's uh, uh, Let's see here. We're just getting into kind of early spring uh, right now. So uh, the uh, uh, traffic is definitely starting to pick up for the season. Okay. Uh, would the, it, does it feel like a big city, or is it? Um, is it? Still, it's you know, so like, it's you know. it's it's tiny compared to Amberhaven, but it's right. still one of the the major cities on the continent. Okay, definitely cool, cool, cool. Yeah, it's it's definitely a city. Mm -hmm. Neat. So pick that pick this up next time. So I, I think the next session should be a good, tidy little little wrap up. We should have no problem getting it done in an hour and a half, two hours of gameplay. Right. All right. Cool. I so yeah, that was on good. Well, I mean, I was expecting this whole combat to take like four rounds. Well, you shouldn't <laughs> have had the guy run away. <laughs> well, the module you shouldn't you have had the guy run away. Um, yeah. I mean, we we hit him. We hit him with a rock. We <laughs> I entangled love that rock. him. I mean, I and yeah, he still he still managed to get away. So what a good, this is what a good runner. His saves were fucking buck wild. And I did not fudge a single one of those saves. I I, know, I wanted I I, I like entangle as much as you do. I wanted to see it connect. <laughs> uh, well, I was. I was kind of mad that I, I kept getting bitten by rats because uh, if anybody was uh, in on the Call of Cthulhu thing that yep. uh, the column yep. ran last time, yeah, I was I was chewed to death by rats. 
<laughs> that one. Well, remember the one that <laughs> you and died. you and I are playing. I'm I'm almost chewed to death by rats in that one, which we this need to revisit true. sometime. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of there's a lot of rats in the role playing. <laughs> yeah. Know? Well, there's a lot of rats. True. There's a lot of rats. <laughs>